Creating backgrounds on your make your own tag journal tags. I'm going to take you through uh, very short steps and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my gel plate or jelly plate and I'm going to put three different colors on there and divide the colors with a brayer. Important part is to always roll out your colors really thin. You don't want sticky thick paint on your plate uh, because the more paint you have the softer your tags will become and that way it will become soggy and uh, your paper might split. So really thin paint, thin layer, spread it evenly, put your tag on your little plate like so and put a piece of printer paper over there, a bit of light pressure, pull off your paper and pull your tag off softly and you will see you get a real nice even coat of paint on there. Now for the back side of the tag we want to do a different color. So what we're going to go do now is once again evenly spread some paint over your gel plate or jelly plate. I'm going to do these with uh, colors from the opposite side of the color wheel and I'm going to go with greens and turquoises softly spreading them out. Make sure all excess paint is rolled off on the side. Put it down your other side of your tag, put a printer paper over there, some light pressure, pull off your printer paper and get your tag off there, pull it softly and you will have your tag. For the next background technique I want to use a makeup sponge. This is a used makeup sponge, I already used a colour on there. So when I want to go over into a new colour or I want to start again, I just have to cut off the top tip of that makeup sponge and that way I can start with a new colour. I'm going to choose for two different colours for this spread. I'm going to use a turquoise and I'm going to use a bit of a light cobalt blue. Um, I'm using a Dina Wakely paint and I'm using Amsterdam paint, Paper Artsy paint and Americana paints. Actually a mix of everything that I have on my desk here. Sometimes I use dilutions or golden paints. It's just whatever is um, on my desk at that moment. So with your makeup wedge you will just uh, dab that paint off. Make sure once the paint is finished you will start with your next colour. I've got a bit much blue on there, so I'm just taking some of that blue and putting it on my printer paper. And then I will actually blend the two colours. You just have to keep on dabbing. And because that turquoise is not totally dry yet, uh, once I go over onto that turquoise, it'll start mixing. And you will see I will get a soft transition, a bit, a bit of a muddled effect, but that is what I like. Next very easy background technique is using sprays. I'm using a candice spray and a dilution spray here, a white and a turquoise and I'm just hitting it with a heat tool just to give it a quick dry and that way you've got a very easy pretty background. Then of course I can't do it without my own watercolors. I'm going to use the bold and bright watercolors by Art by Marlene and I'm going to use the red, it's called lipstick and uh, I'm going to use a pink and a yellow and I'm just going to mix those into one another. I usually try and repeat my colors about three times. That way you get a nice um, composition in colors or nice colorway that way. And a yellow I'm going to add to there. And when I'm finished you can see I've, I have light pressure. I'm not overworking my paper. And once I've got all of it on, I'm just going to give it a bit of a loose platter of paint and then I'm giving it a quick dry. The last technique that I'm going to show you is I'm going to put two colors on my tag. I'm going to divide them over my tag just to give it a nice composition and I'm going to use just my brush for that just to see exactly where I want to put my colors down. I think I'm going to divide this one into three and I'm going to use that purple into two, so two uh, blocks and then I'm going to come back in and for this you can use uh, a credit card, an old credit card or gift card.
but I'm using a Nouveau silicone spatula for this and I'm just going to pull that color right over my tag so it gives you a bit of a shabby chic painterly background in there well that is the techniques that I'm going to show or share with you for now and I hope you enjoy it so you know how to make a basic background bye bye